Hi everyone, this is Knowledge Topper and in this video we will understand another type of financial risk which is credit risk. Like what is credit risk? Why different financial institutions and companies are exposed to credit risk? What are the different ways which help financial institutions and companies in better manage their credit risk? We will understand all of this with the help of an example so most importantly your concept should be clear. Please stick to this video till the end as all parts are interlinked with each other and are very important for your understanding. So let's start it. If we discuss a definition first to have a basic understanding, it says that credit risk is the risk of loss due to a borrower's failure to repay a loan or meet their financial obligations. Banks, companies and other lending institutions face credit risk when they lend money or extend credit to individuals or businesses. Let's understand this particular credit risk concept with the help of an example that I have prepared for you guys. Let's imagine that you are a banker and a small business owner whose name is John. He comes to you to apply for a loan. John wants to borrow $50,000 to expand his business. As a banker, you will need to assess John's credit risk before approving his loan application. Now to assess John's credit risk, you will need to consider several factors including you know his credit history first of all, then income, then debt to income ratio and the purpose of the loan. Okay. If we talk about the basis of credit risk assessment, John's credit history will tell you whether he has a good track record of repaying his debts on time or not. If he has a history of mispayment, it may indicate that he is a high credit risk borrower. Similarly, if we talk about his income, this will help you determine whether he has the financial capacity to repay his loan or not. While his debt to income ratio will show you whether he has too much debt related to his income or not. The purpose of the loan will tell you whether it is a sound investment and whether John is likely to generate enough income to repay the loan or not. Okay. So once you have assessed John's credit risk, you can decide whether to approve his loan application or not. If let's suppose after overall credit risk assessment, you come to conclusion that everything is good and John has a low credit risk means he has a good credit repayment history. His income is also good as well as debt to income ratio is also good and his investment is also likely to generate enough income to repay the loan. Now you may approve his loan application and offer him favorable terms. Okay. However, if John is at a high credit risk means he has a bad credit repayment history. His income is also not good as well as debt to income ratio is also poor and his investment is also less likely to generate enough income to repay the loan. Now you may either reject his loan application or offer him less favorable terms such as a higher interest rate or a shorter repayment period. Now let's talk about the consequences of credit risk. Let's suppose that John fails to repay his loan. Now your bank may suffer losses which can you know have a significant impact on your bank's financial health. Basically you know when a borrower defaults on a loan, the lender may have to write off the loan as a loss that badly hurts its profit. Okay. Uh, and you know in some cases the bank may have to sell on the borrower's collateral like such as his property or inventory to recover its losses. Okay. Similarly if you are a company and you know selling your products on credit so you have to make sure and check your borrower's credit history and you know if a borrower's history is not good and he has a high credit risk you can either not give him credit or if you think he will pay you with a bit delay you can either increase the price of good and then give them a credit okay at the end to conclude this video i just wants to say that you know uh, credit risk is an essential concept you know for bankers lending institutions and for companies who basically you know deals in credit okay and by assessing a borrower's credit risk, you can make, uh, you know, informed decisions about uh, whether to approve loan applications and, you know, uh, how to structure your lending terms according to uh, creditor's history. And basically, you know, another benefit to measure credit risk is that, you know, it helps you in understanding the risk exposure and it also helps you in avoiding, you know, losses uh, due to defaulting borrowers. So this is all about credit risk. I hope you liked today's video. If you like this video, thumbs up. Do appreciate our hard work in creating this particular video for you by subscribing our channel Knowledge Topper as well as like our Facebook page and do join our Facebook group as well where you find a lot of good material not just related to these topics but from many other different courses as well. I have already uploaded a lot of videos on risk management. If you want to check out that I will make sure that I will attach a playlist link in the description of this video. So this is it for this video. Thank you so much everyone. It's time to say bye bye.